What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a story time like you guys saw in today's title. But before we get on with the story time, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so that way you get updated every time we upload. Yup. The story time is basically you, you guys been commenting and wanting us to tell you guys what happened with the situation when Scar got attacked at the park which led him to be afraid and all the scars he's given people and basically why he aggressive why he he's not aggressive he just he just doesn't trust a bunch he's you know just traumatized and yeah. after you guys hear why he was such a great like loving dog like okay yeah the previous owner abused him and he was malnourished but we revived that from him and he was like he was we'll, uh, we'll, start we'll just it, get into we'll it we'll start it all out from the beginning on basically how we got scar we're gonna have a guest star that was in the story time and in the situation and you guys will just see who's gonna come through and um give their side of the story too so so we got some pastor tacos we got some jalapenos right here some grilled oh, yeah. jalapenos we got some rabanos we got some lemon some rice. oh i got some rice for me because you know i love my rice guys and then we have some red salsa some salt i've been hitting the gym Chata. so this is like a cheat meal for me let me take my first bite so i can get my oh look at that rice let's try it they put a little pineapple on the side too the rice i'm gonna have to give it a five out of ten sorry brutally honest all right guys so this happened in the year 2021 when we got Scar Boy. Scar was four months when we got him. So I'm going to explain to you guys how we got Scar before we get into the actual story. So me and Garik moved into our apartment. I was home because I was still in school and Garik was at work. This is when Garik worked at Mercedes. I was, he was a, a porter. porter. My first ever job. And so um, I was always home because I was at school and... I realized like Garik is gone till like five all the time. And I'm home by myself a lot. Like, and I told Garik like, you know, I think I really want a dog and I want a big dog. Cause I have a small dog at my mom's, but you know, I told Garik, I think I want a big dog. And he's like, okay, well like what type of dog? And I'm like, honestly, I've been really wanting a Doberman per pincher for a really long time. We bought the green on a Doberman. Yeah, but I told you I really wanted a Doberman since I was a little girl. Like, I, that was my dream dog was a Doberman since I was a little, little girl. Garg was like, okay, like, bet, I'm down. Like, let, let's let let's get a dog. And I was like, okay, I was so cool. excited because we moved into an apartment. I'm like, no way, I've never had a dog. I'm like, I'm gonna get a dog. This is so cool. I posted on my story and a supporter who is now my friend reached out and said that she only has a girl left. If I wanted a boy, a boy has... a an owner already but they're gonna find out something it was just like super weird mm -hmm. so i was like okay she got back to me and she's like oh he doesn't want him anymore if you want you can come and pick him up tomorrow and i was like what and she was like yeah like i guess he doesn't want him anymore he can't take care of him and i was like all right so i told garik like we're gonna pick him up tomorrow then she texted me and she said hey just so that you know he's like kind of sick and I was like, what? Like, kind of sick. Like, what is she talking about? She's like, yeah, he's like a little sick. Like, he doesn't like look too good. He's really skinny. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah. And he has like, you know, like some things coming out of his eye. I was like, I don't care. I still want him, you know? So we went to go pick him up. And when I tell you guys, he was skin and bones. He was skin and bones. Like, Garik went and picked him up and he was like, probably like. Guys, we vlogged going seven. to pick him up. If you guys want to go watch that at the end of today's video. We vlogged when we went and picked him up. Yeah, he was really, really skinny. He looked like a camel, kind of. So we got him. He was acting kind of like... Scared of everything. In. Yeah, he was scared of everything. He didn't eat the whole day. He was, was scared of Garik. He was really scared of Garik. And Garik... That means the male, whoever had him, literally probably hit him or abused him. Or He was really scared of Garik. He didn't... In the beginning, you guys, he did not like Garik. Like, he didn't want to go next to Garik. He didn't want to lay next to Garik. He didn't like ever get exci excited when Garik came home. Remember, like when I came home from going and running errands, he would get so excited. He didn't want to be around. His tail would wag with Brittany, but not me. Yeah, all the time. He didn't want to be around Garik. He loves me now, though. Yeah, and then one time. I'll tell you why he loves me. I'll tell you right now. And then one time, Scar did actually. Uh, Garik like was trying to love on Scar, and then remember he growled at you, and you're like, "What the fuck?" No, no, no. I wasn't loving on him. He was playing with the bone. Oh. And I tried grabbing it because, like, you gotta like assert your dominance with the male. 
Then he growled a little bit. I'm like, hell no. So I pinned him. You know, you got to be alpha. I didn't pin him hard. I didn't hurt him. You got to, like, hold them down. You have down. to put your, your thumb underneath their jaw. Put them down. And yeah. Make them lay there. For a couple seconds. And then, so I pinned him. He never growled at me again. Just warning you, if you get a male dog and a big dog. A big dog. They're going to challenge you. So you just have to pin them down in a way, even a safe small, way. Even small male dogs, they yeah, try to like, do that. Yeah, like, they try to challenge you because it's, like, alpha. So I quit my job. We had two two mil on TikTok, so I quit my job. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna for sure give for my sure. full eight hours into making videos. So we went to a park this one fine evening to take pictures of Brittany for her Instagram account. Serenia Dog Park. It's not even a dog park. If you see old fuck <laughs> with pit bulls and a buff guy, that ain't bro. He's buff, but he ain't tough. Fuck these. These cats, if you ever see them at Serenia Dog Park. Don't go to Serenia Dog I mean, It's not a dog park. Stop I, dog I park. don't know what it is, but... It's a regular fucking park. It's a regular park, but people let their dogs off and let them play with each other. So we didn't know that. So we're walking. We're like, oh, no way. Look at all these dogs. So. Oh, we had already gotten Zira. But yeah, Zira was at home. She was a baby. And so Zira was a baby, but Zira was at home. Because she's too small to run around. And stuff. Yeah, we couldn't let her out on the grass. Scar was never ever aggressive to dogs. Remember, he wasn't never. like he got got along with Azula because Arson got Azula too. So he's running around, running around. We walk to this group of pit bulls, and Scar goes to play with these dogs. And there's this old fuck. I don't know. He was like 80 years old. I had realized that these dogs were no good by the way of their body language and everything. Even though everybody else's dog was was off leash, I knew I had to put my dog on leash. So these motherfuckers thought they were the big tough people of the park. You know, like. You know that like high school, like there's this group of kids that like they look all tough and they think they're all cool and shit. Well, bitch, you guys are fucking pussies because I'm gonna tell you why. So we go sniffing around. There's an old guy and a guy that's on steroids. He was for sure on steroids with muscles and he had tattoos all over the place. I don't fucking give a fuck. And one of the pitbulls came up to Scar and put their neck put, on yeah, Scar. Yeah, he put his neck on Scar. And I don't know anything about dogs like this. Like, it's my first dog. So I'm like, oh, but shit, what, what's it. happening? You know? It. And then Brittany got kind of nervous. Gar so she put the leash on Scar to take him away because she already knew there was Gar a fight. Because Gar Garrick had said he's like, babe, pull him away. And then I was like, babe, like... And mind you, the owners of the dogs are just sitting and watching. They're just watching. Like, they know what's going to happen. Because I could see them. They know what's going to happen. They don't call their dogs off. Like, maybe they don't know about dogs' body this language. Shit gets but juicy. you could tell. Their, dog, like, their dogs were going to fight. My dog went up, like, really happy and was trying to play. And their dogs were not friendly. And I'm going to tell you guys how I know that their dogs aren't friendly. Brittany put the leash on Scar to make him turn around because we were going to leave because the tension was, you it know. It was really high. It was really high. So as soon as Scar turned around, the pit bull took its chance and started attacking Scar. Mind you, Scar is four months years old. Four months years old? Four months. This pit bull is a year old. There was three more pit bulls and another uh, King Corso. Right when the pit bull bit Scar, all of the pit bull's friends, which is... The Three pack. more pit bulls and one more king corso. They started ganging up on Scar, biting him everywhere from the back. Scar turned around, bit the pit bull in the face. The pit bull was no, bleeding. No, babe, remember the king corso? The the buff guy was holding his king corso on leash, and then all of a sudden the king corso was in there. He had let the king, cause that was the biggest fight, was because he let the, his dog off the leash to fuck up Scar because he he allowed it. Motherfucker let his dog off leash. Scar bit that one in the face, bit the other pit bull in the face, but there's like four or five of them on him and he's like a small Doberman. Everybody is watching. Brittany's in shock. Everybody is watching, doing nothing. Nothing. The owners are slowly walking up to the dogs like, hey. Like it's like hey. a like normal thing. They're like, they're they, like, yo. And then the, the fucking buff guy is like acting like he's all like tough. Like, oh, that's my dog. Fuck you, bitch, again. Fuck you, bitch. So, um, oh I'm like, all right, I'm not going to let my fucking dog die here. If I didn't do anything, my dog was going to die. I literally ran in there, picked up Scar, kicked off the dogs. I was kicking every fucking dog I saw. My dog, the look on his eyes, I've never seen a creature that scared in his life. I picked them up, and the fucking dogs are still trying to bite him and shit. And Scar is like, was, Scar shit people. in my hand. It was the main people that started the fight. Yeah. It was great. So, uh, Scar literally shit in my hand while I have him in my hands. And Scar literally looked me in the eyes like this. Like, and he, and he, he, he literally looked me. He was trying to like climb you. Yeah. And he, oh yeah, he was trying to, I, I think I have a picture that I'll insert it. If I have the picture, if I don't, sorry. But he was trying to like uh, get away because they were trying to jump again. And he scratched my neck. 
and I had a huge scar right here. When that pimple? And then he shit in my hand, and then um, he's literally looking in my eyes. I'm like, it's okay, buddy, it's okay, buddy. And he's shaking, like, he's like, where, what the he fuck is happening? Too. He thought he was gonna die. When, when an animal or something thinks they're gonna die, they shit themselves, or, you know what, like, it happened so quick, I don't know how to say this, but one of the, the main people jumped in there to bite Scar again. I front kicked that bitch! Fuck your dog, bitch! Oh my God. So I, I front kicked him, I'm like, fuck and then, you and guys! And then the owner came, the owner came, and he grabbed like a water canteen, and he chucked it at his own dog. Like, in the face, he chucked it. And like, I'm not saying that's bad, but if like, that goes to just show you the type of person that that owner is. Grab your dog by the leash, your simple command should get your dog to stop. If your dog has a tendency to attack another Listen. dog, you need to have a shock collar on it. That is why we have a shock collar on Scott. You don't have your dogs off leash if they're fucking dangerous like that. So, literally, guys, there was four pit bulls and one King Corso, one years old, on, on a four-month-year-old Doberman. His back leg had, like, a big gash on it with, like, oh, my it God, was it like was tore horrible. Open. It was tore open. He had a couple bites on his back. Yeah, and then, like, he, he was, like, shaking. He didn't know what happened, and he, like... He saw that I saved his life, cause I'll, I'll continue that like a little forward. But I literally went to the side. I was fucking pissed. I was like, they didn't even come and apologize. I, under, I understand your yeah. dogs. Come say sorry to me or Brittany. Like I apologize. My dog did this. Like I tried getting him off. Yeah. They, no. No. They, they literally around, stood they right started, there. They started like laughing, laughing, like, talking, giggling. Like I oh my, like, oh my, the I fuck? bet, bet. The owner of I don't know if she was the owner. She had came up to me and she was like. Hey, I'm so sorry. Like, I understand you're upset. And I'm like, who are you? Like, I'm like, who are you? And she's like, oh, like, I run this whole, like, dog, like, community thing. Like, I have, like, an, uh, she's basically said she has, like, Fuck a Facebook. Fuck you too, bitch. She says she has, like, Fuck a Facebook. Fuck community. She says she has a Facebook page, and she tells everyone to go there with her dogs, which I had no idea about. Serena like, Dog Park. Fuck that park. park. I don't give a fuck. It's a normal park. Do not take your dogs there. If you see an old man that looks like he's about to drop dead the next day, don't go there. If you see a buff guy, he's a little bitch. Literally, he got pressed. He didn't do shit. I literally told him to his face. I'm like, put your... He had his dogs in front of him like this. I put Scar in the, in the backseat of my car, and I was ready to throw fucking hands. I was like, put your dogs in the car and catch these hands. He's like, why? 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 Yeah, I'm like, I'm like catch these fucking hands. Because... You're a fucking bitch. And he wasn't trying to do that. I'm like, all right, bet. And then the old guy did, got in his car and left. Yeah, because he was scared that, because I said I'm calling the cops. I was like, I'm going to call the We were going to get their dogs put down. Was, but yeah, actually, but then I didn't because I, like, I'm, I'm going to get into that. So, I had gone up to them. I'm like, what's your name? What's your name? And this what's your name? This is getting me hot, bro. If I see that guy three, in public, if I ever see you, <laughs> it's it's on site. It was, it's on site. It was three people. It was some girl that was trying to get like reassurance from these guys that she has like good pussy or some shit. I don't, I don't know. Like, Ooh. remember that that bitch that was there that was telling arson shit? Oh yeah. So this bitch was like trying to like get reassurance that she's like the shit or like whatnot. She's trying to be one of the boys. I get it. Cool. So she has one of the pits. The owner, uh, I mean the guy who had the main pit bull that attacked Scar, they all hang out, which makes their dogs be in a pack. I get it. I'm like, what's your name? What's your name? And what's your name? And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, your dog, like, what the fuck you mean? What am I talking about? Your dog just attacked my dog. And then I see the old guy going to go grab his dog and he's putting his, 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 his leash on he's his dog. He's trying to get out of there. And he starts they've walking. Had, they've had reports before. That yeah. old man has, his right, dog his has dog attacked has... multiple dogs. Yeah. And the reason why I know this is because the lady that came up to me that has that Facebook page said he's been a problem. He starts grabbing his dog and he's going to his car. And I'm like, what are like, what are you doing? I'm like, why, like, why are you not giving me your information? I'm like, I already took a picture of your license plate because he was getting in his car. I'm like, that's all I need. That's all I need. Thank you. So, my brother's on the way. Her dad was on the way with the strap. Um, my brother's on the way. I told the, I told the buff guy, stay here, stay here. You're gonna get it. Motherfucker mm -hmm. stayed looking tough. The lady no, was had, there cussing at us. I had We're, told him, I had told him, I was like, where's your car? Where's your car? Because I'm going to take a picture of the license plate. Because I wanted to leave. We took a picture of the, the old man's license plate and but, shit. But the buff guy didn't want to leave because he didn't want me to take a picture of the license plate. Yeah, so he didn't want to show us what car he is. So he stayed there. So it's getting like a little dark. It's like 6 p.m. We stayed there. Scar's in the back seat. Like, he's still shaking. Like, my poor dog. Like, that literally scarred him. Literally the scarred him. The one thing that I wanted them to do was to pay for the medical bills. If your homeboy left, 
and he doesn't want to pay for the medical bill, your dog also chimed in on it. So you got to yeah, pay Yeah, you let your dog bill. go, huh? All right. So uh, my brother comes, takes out boxing gloves. He's like, yo, let's throw hands right now, $1,000. And his, his little friend was there, too. Um, that that guy's friend was there, too. He was a little bitch, too. Uh, he was like, he was like, like a, I, 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 what do you call when, when it's a movie and like there's a side person? A fucking NPC, let's say it. No, it's, it's called, a, what's it called? That was like, it was like Batman and Robin. Yeah, it was motherfucking Robin. It was a, 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 a psychic. Yeah, so all my, <laughs> so he's literally si little, si little psychic, I don't know, but. My dad only. Oh shit, the special guest is here and it's literally his part. My okay. dad only, my dad only brought something with him just in case something went sideways and he had to protect his daughter and his son-in-law. I don't want you guys to think that my dad came like prepared like he was going to kill these guys or anything. No, it was just for protection because you never know what somebody else's intentions are. That's all my dad wanted to do was to protect us because my dad did go up to him and say, look, like if you want to run it once, like let's do it. Like yeah, let's, let's run, run it once, once, bitch. My dad did not bring a strap because he wanted to harm these people. He brought it just in case like... Anything happens. But guys, our special guest is here and three, two, one, you're about to see the rest of the story. Yo. Yo. Ars in the building, What's aka up? my brother. Yes sir. Yes sir. I will shake his hand, but you know, my hands are dirty. Literally, you came right on time. We also um, have the guest star here, guys. Oh yeah. Up. Up. Yo, Mr. Bob, you think we were gonna let you ki them kill you, huh? Anytime we see you, it's on site, by the way. But my buddy. No, it's not on site. It's all. <laughs> It's uh, with done. me, it's on site. It's all done, man. You know. Ours already pieced them up. We're gonna talk about it, but so we pulled up. Uh, ours brought the boxing gloves. You want to take over? On so the situation? yeah, we like I I just I box, so I just keep my boxing gloves in my car anyway. I usually keep like two pairs anyway. Um, I have like more than one pair. So anyway, like my brother calls me like I'm 30 minutes away. Pull up. He's like, oh yo, something went down. Like this dude's like four dogs like attacked my dog. He's like. He's being weird and stuff, like being disrespectful. So, and the dude's dogs are off the leash. Cause I know my brother, like he can defend himself, you know what I mean? But he has big dogs off the leash. So you can't just like swing on a guy like that. Hey, move. So, you know, I, I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. Cause I was 30 minutes away. So I got there in 30 minutes. I pulled up, you know, Brittany's pops was there too. By the time I got there, they were in the middle of a convo. Um, you know, the guy's like, you know, I pull up. I'm like, yo, what's up? I, you know, this and that. And I was like, yo, I, I didn't come here to start like any more problems and stuff. I came here so I could like talk to Sal, like, man, my brother told me this, this and that. Like, come on, brother, like. And this guy had his dogs in front of him. I was trying to squabble it out, you know? Cause yeah, but, he's like smiling cause he knows his dogs are protecting him and I'm sure he feels well, like he had a bit of an no ego, more. you feel me? No more. Like, no more. I guess no our egos kind of clashed too cause I was a little ma mad too. Cause it's my brother, you feel me? So, but I don't want to do anything like out of hand so I, I wanted to talk see see what, what what's up with the guy if he's if, if he's gonna you know own up to his actions which he should i have dogs too my brother has dogs i have two rottweilers i actually have three rottweilers my brother has three dobermans so you know we're responsible dog owners thank god yeah and so i was just like bro just take responsibility for your actions you know you, you just it's at least pay for the bill dollars, yeah he didn't want to pay. pay for the bill he was like i'm not paying for nothing this and that you know he's smiling in my face and you know, so I was like, okay, we're not really gonna get anywhere with this guy. I just like chose another route. I was like, you know, you're smiling in my face, bro. I told him, I'm like, you think it's funny? I told him, you know, if you think it's funny, like, you know, we can also put on the gloves. There's other ways to take care of it. I'm like, I got two pairs of gloves in the car. I told him, I'm like, we can box for the medical bill. He pretty much for a thousand dollars or whatever for the medical bill. I'm like, oh. and I told him, I'm like, we can box and I'll knock you out. Like, you know, cause I was like feeling some, you know, it was like a bit of an ego clash, you know, my, my ego kind of came out too, you know, I'm not yeah. perfect either, but you know, it's my brother, I'm gonna defend my brother, so. Brittany's you know, dad has stepped in and talked to him so, too, he just wasn't understanding. And I let him know too, I'm like, hey, we could have pulled up and like, you know, done worse or just done something on site and I'm like, but we're not th that type of. Literally, like, bro. Like, we're, we're not trying weapons. to handle things. We're, we're not, not trying, trying to, to hurt anyone, but. We're not trying to really pull up and just hurt people, you know, we, we, we just want the problem solved, bro, like, you know, fair, fair game, so. I asked for an apology and for him to that? pay for the medical bill and he was like, why would I apologize? And I'm like, what? Yeah. And he's like, he's like, um, hey, he, had said, he had said some stupid shit. 
And he's like, why, why, he's like, why would I, why would I apologize or why would I pay for it? I'm like, so, and I got in his face, I'm like, so if I sat here and I slapped the shit out of you, would you want an apology? He's like, uh, I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought. Why are you fucking stuttering? So fast then, forward, yeah. um, yada, 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 or the, the lady that, I don't know, was her boyfriend or fuck doll or some shit. Uh, she was cussing at us and shit. Yeah, there and was some older lady or something. That lady? Yeah, yeah, remember that lady was that like, was like cussing at us on the weird, side? weird, you know? So she I, was I, calling I, us ugly, like, bitch, what the fuck? She was talking shit about Armenians. Yeah, yeah she, oh yeah, she, she was, was talking like, about Armenians. The side, like, she was when did race get into this? Yeah, she really, like, brought up Armenians and shit, which wasn't cool. Yeah, she was just saying, like, some slick stuff from the side, to be honest. And I'll, I, I, I honestly, like, you know, I could tell my brother was pretty mad and I was, I was like, mad this lady, so... Yeah, after that lady, I'm like, shut up, lady, this and that, you know, like, this and that. So, she said very vowel shit, too, though. Yeah, she was making fun of Armenians. She was saying some weird stuff. I'm like, lady, look at your age. Like, watch your mouth. I told the guy, I gave him some options. I'm like, listen here, bro, I'm, I'm here to, like, try, try to solve this. You feel me? This is my brother. You don't want to be a man and, you know, uh, pay for the bill, you know, take responsibility. I'm like, we, we can handle it a different way. I'm like, I have two pairs of gloves in my car. We'll put them on, you know, over a little... Do a little wager, we'll fight for the medical bill. And I told him, and I did tell him, I'm like, I'll, and I'll knock you out. Um, I'm like, you're a big guy, you think shit's funny. Like, like, and his little funny, homie I'm was like, like, I'll knock you out. So, yeah. and, his, and his homie from the side, he's like, oh, you won't knock him out, this and that. So I was like, all right then, let's, let's yeah, do me, it. Me and Soccer are like, all right then, put on the yeah, gloves, it's literally like, right, right here. Why are you bitching like, out? Let's do it, I'll go get it right he's now. Like, no, nah, so, nah, nah. So, and then he was like, no, nah, nah, I'm not gonna fight you, man. And, and he was like smirking and stuff. And I was like, all right, I'm not gonna force you to fight me either, bro. Like, you know, I'm like, I'll, I could call the cops too. They'll come, they'll give me your information, but you're not leaving my site. You're not leaving our site until we handle this. And he didn't until his brother pulled up. You know, they were trying to leave. We we went with them to their car, we're not letting them leave. You know, like his brother pulls up, his older brother. He was understanding. You know, respect. You know, he, yeah, he paid the bills. Man. You know, took care of it. Boom. Yeah. The the older brother had pulled me to the side and asked me for my story. He gave me some really good advice, like about how like he doesn't even bring his own dogs around his brother's dogs because there's been an altercation similar to mine. And basically how he was apologizing on his brother's behalf and that his brother is like not right in the head, which we clearly saw. But he was Personally, basically... Personally, me, that's embarrassing. Yeah, but. like having your older brother come and apologize for you, even though it's your responsibility to apologize. I didn't ask for anything else. I asked for you to pay for your responsibility that your dog caused. And apologize. And to apologize. That's all I asked because the other guy decided to flee and the other guy didn't want to apologize and he was saying some crazy shit. So, okay, you let your dog off the leash. I saw you let your dog off the leash to fuck up my dog. Now you can pay for the medical bill since your homie wants to flee the scene and doesn't want to fucking pay so then you can pay so fast forward we get our medical pay scar gets stitched up he's yeah. frightened no he actually got stapled he's he, he got stapled he got the, staples in his leg oh and um hey, stop. let me say hey. this after we went home a month passes the guy pulls up on ours ours will explain it but before that i want to say scar didn't like me as much when we first got him but after i saved his life after he looked into my eyes and realized i saved him Homie was sleeping with my clothes, literally taking my clothes up, literally going next to my sandals. He knew I saved his life, so. And on top of that, the brother had had given us four hundred dollars and said, "Let me know if it's Guard, if it's." It. He's like, "Let me I'm know back. if it's more than that, and I'll send you guys money." More. And I said, "If it's less than that, I'll send the money back." Go you know, ahead. it ended up being five hundred dollars, and Go I ahead. told Garik to Go text him and and say like, Go. "You know, thank you so much for paying him four hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars more, but we got it. We're we're gonna cover it. We just want to say thank you for you know like being the bigger being the the bigger brother and apologizing." automatically just sends the 100 it goes don't worry about it i'm taking care of it again i apologize you guys have a great night so yeah month goes after that like we like left it behind us we paid for it so like whatever i'm just on a facetime call you know i'm talking and then a big truck pulls up big dude hops out i just glance because then he starts walking my way um and then he says like something like um hey uh, are you uh, you remember me uh from the park Something like that. And I was like, I looked up, I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I remember you. Mind you, Arson's on the phone, so he's like, off. he's like walking around talking. Like, yeah, came off really hostile, you said, too. Yeah, like, he kind of came off like, yo, it was about to pop off, honestly. Like, I know it was... And like, I wasn't paid. there. And in the surveillance video... I wish I was there. In the surveillance video, you could see he's about to leave the plaza, sees Arson, and then backs up 
Yeah. And then puts Pulls his car in. in park and then just like hops out of the car. I didn't right, even so. notice that part so I seen it on camera that he, he reversed parked because oh, I wish I was there, man. Anyway, so like he's talking like he, while while he's walking to me and I'm like, Oh yeah, I remember you, this and that and then he's like, Oh, are you box? This and you you box, huh? This and that. I was like, Oh yeah, I do. I was, I was, I was like, you serious? I told him I'm like, you serious? Cause, cause I think I thought it was over. So, and this this was trying to start the problem again. So I guess his ego was hurt when I told him a month before that I would knock him out. I told him, okay, let me go get the gloves from my car. And he was like, no, let me see what's good with you here. And I, I think I had like put my hand on his shoulder because he was trying to walk up on me. As he was talking, he was saying something like I put my hand up on his shoulder, you could see on the camera. And I, and I shoved him back, I pushed him back a little bit and then he was like, oh, let me, he was like, no, nah, let me see, like, what's up with you here? So he, he wasn't down to like, you know, let, let me get my gloves. He wanted to do okay. better hands. I was like on the phone, I was like, hey, let me call you back. I put my phone in my pocket, I took, took like two steps back, this dude was walking forward, you know, because he, he was already in my face. I'm not, I'm not about to let nobody He was like trying to me. rush Arson or some shit. Yeah, not rush me, but like, you know, get in my face and in front of his business that's disrespectful yeah, if it's, too. Like, if it's yeah. a problem, like I'm not, in, I'm gonna hit you in the face. Or I'm, or I'm yeah, he he probably looked at Ars like a little guy. Like you know I mean? Ars like, is not gonna do nothing. So but either you stand black right girls. there, you talk what you gotta talk. I, I'll usually say like stand right there. But this dude was walking up on me, and so I was like getting ready to hit him. So I told whoever I was talking to, call you back. Put my phone in my back pocket. Took like two steps back because he's stepping forward on me. I'm like you pussy ass bitch. Boom, I hit him, and I forgot I had this ring on my finger, this uh, this ring that I had, and uh, I forgot to take that off, so when I hit him, uh, like, he kind of ducked it, you're supposed to hit with these two knuckles, when you, you know, when you connect a, a punch, but it, that's why it's called a boxer's fracture, if, if, because if, this, this bone is more easier that uh, to worse, get broken bro. or fractured, so you're never supposed to land a punch on this part of your, you, you, you should know to land it here if you, if you know how to fight. So, but but this guy kind of ducked like dur during during the punch, and my ring kind of like collided with like the top of his head right here. This I guess hit my bone or something. Huh. And it my slid bone, back. Like, it slid and my, back his knuckle. And yeah, my knuckle, knuckle was knuckle, like, like back here. My back. knuckle was literally pushed back to like half of my fist, and I hit him not once. I hit him one time. I took another like one or two steps back real quick because he was like charging at this point. He was like, trying to grab like, or something, bro. Like a rhino. So. He was like trying to grab me or trying to do something. I don't know. He's a, he's a he's a gym gym rat. You feel me? He's not a fighter, so he, he didn't know what was going on. I guess so. I hit him. He's like trying to run into me, and I step back, step back. Hit him with another right hand. And, and Ar Ars was backing up. He got into the parking lot because yeah. he needed some space to fight this big guy. Like he's not gonna like fight him in like a small corner. So yeah, Ars ran and out. And it's a big dude, lot. bro. Has like a, over a hundred pounds on me, and you know I've I've been fighting for over ten years. So I mean, oh, yeah. like, I have over ten years of experience, and I and I still train. But my favorite part is when you were kneeing him, bro. Ars yeah. literally had him like this and was kneeing him in the head. Yeah, I have done <laughs> like Taekwondo, Muay Thai, <laughs> yeah. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and yeah. boxing. So I gave him that Muay Thai for sure. Um, you know, so he he was so. Boom, I hit him once with the right, I hit him with another right, and then and then he was like already like still running forward like well after the second right hand like hit him. So I like turned around, I ran real quick in between the cars. He was trying to run me down, like run out, he was like running after me. So I run into like a more open space pretty much, and then and then I put my hands back up because the fade's still going, you know. I wasn't running from the fade, I was just running to the open area, so Boom, I put my hands up. Now he's a little, I could tell he's a little winded from running me down. And at that point, I wasn't even consistently training, man. Like, I would've gave it to him worse. So he's lucky I wasn't even in training, man. Like, he comes up to me, like, I grab his head because he's, like, kind of, like, coming this way. So I clinched his head. Boom, like, I kind of shook his head. I hit him with a right knee. <laughs> Dude, that's and then right part. after I hit him with the knee, as he's coming up, I hit him with a right hand in the face. And, and then, um... You probably didn't feel it, no. And, and, and then after that, like no, he, he kind of no, like shook his head, so like jumped up, like because like it maybe rattled him. And then he comes forward. I hit him with a left hook. Boom! I think I like kind of busted his ear a bit with that one. Um, he had a big bump on his head. Remember, like purple. Yeah. Like, after he had a because of your knee, I think you need him. Yeah. Good. After he had a big hematoma, I think I, it might have been from the ring or from the knees or both because I hit him. Ours I, fucked. Him I up. hit him at least ten. T like I hit with like ten clean shots in the face, like including knees, jabs, crosses, hook. 
you had a hematoma, search what that is, when you have a big potato like looking like your head just swells up like into a potato and it was like red, it was like like I bloody. Was there. So it was pretty bad, like you could see that shit on dude's face from across the plaza. Literally for you, Scar. When I saw that too at the end of the fight, that's what like calmed me down, even though like I, I, I noticed my hand was like a little messed up, but you know, so let me get to that. Anyway, so I hit him with the hook, he comes forward again, he's trying to grab me and stuff. I get him in another clinch this one's off the camera i hit him with another knee off camera and then he com comes up again and then he was like oh that's what we're doing he said something like that mid fight so i took that as an opportunity boom i hit him with a jab straight in the face right after he said that and then he shook his face comes forward boom i hit him with another jab straight on the and he face. was eating those but he got fucked yeah. up you'll see the first jab i hit him with is he had a snap uh, hat his hat falls off his head I kicked his hat, it's like it was by my feet, so I like kicked it, you'll see it. And I hit him with another jab, and then he's running me down again. He's running me down, you can see on the camera, this is like near the end of the fight. And I'm grabbing his head again, I clinched his head again one last time. I shook his head like this in the clinch to like, you know, stabilize him, to like control him. So now I got him, boom, the third one, I was like, man, I'm gonna hit this dude with a hard one for the last one. I hit him with a, like a really hard knee, point when he comes up from it, like I, I put him on the car. And then I put my hands up again, and at this point, like I, I see his sock runs out. I, too. I see my cousin. Yeah, he had a shank from, in his pocket. Yeah, this is when whoever I was talking with on the phone apparently like knew my cousin was with me. Called my cousin, and he was like, "Yo, Arson's fighting outside with somebody. Like, you, you know, like go out there." This, I, I, so he comes out near the end of the fight, and he had like a knife in his hand. Um, and I could kind of tell he was like, kind of like holding it like this, walking up fast. Bro, was I noticed him, from the corner of my eye, this was after I hit the dude with the third knee and put him on the car. And then in my head, I'm like, yo, my business is here. I look at this guy, like his head's all busted, his mouth's like bloody, like you had his gone ears up to, busted. What do you say after he got you, 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 had, you had gone up to Sock, cause Sock can, you could yeah, see yeah, 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 and, yeah, and, so and Sock was like, like Sock like went, Sock it was, was gonna go like, quick. Yeah, Sock and was, then Arsh was like, no, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Like Sock was coming in. Do, do his thing you know what i mean so so while, as he was coming i was like you know i thought of, you know real quick yo my business is here i already beat him up you know he, he looks bad you know seeing that thing on his head especially like calm me down even though like i noticed too while my cousin was walking over that some like my my hand was like numb here where where, where my knuckle was back so I, I told the guy i'm like hey we're not gonna jump you bro i picked up his hat i gave it to him I'm like you're already fucked up Here's your hat. What do you say to you? I'm like, just leave, bro. And he was like, he was trying to shake my hand. He's like, hey, man, respect to you. Like, like you, 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 oh, fuck you. You do know how to fight. Like, he was trying to shake my hand. So I shook his hand, you know, like, and, and he'll my, never do that. He'll my, learn from that. And my cousin, and, and I was like, yeah, bro, just get, just get out of here. It's, it's, it's done, you know. And my cousin was really still trying to get at him, and you know, and I was trying to. I was like, hey, no, 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 bro, you can't do this here, you know, like. So anyway, we. I told him, hey bro, just leave before it gets worse and, you know, and he got in his car, he left, you know, with respect. Now Ors has a permanent scar from Scarboy. Literally, Scar's name is like a, a back and forth scar. Like, I got a scar on my tat on my leg. Scar Man, gave me I a scar on my leg. I couldn't even, like, my finger, like, my pinky was like this. I couldn't even lift, I couldn't even lift my pinky like this. My pinky was literally, like, was like this until I got surgery. So then, after all of that happened, you guys, my dad... Oh, yeah. Was at the gym. I was gonna bring that up. <laughs> my dad oh, yeah. was at the gym, and my dad said he was like working out, and he was getting like you know like a workout, and then all of a sudden he feels like a tap on him, and my dad like takes off his headphone, and he's like, yo, like like what's what's up, and he's like, oh like that that guy over there is like uh, he's calling, he's trying to get your attention, and my dad looks, and my dad's like 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 what the fuck like like because I had called my dad when this situation happened with Arson I told my dad and my dad was like good shit like Arson like, you know that guy was a bitch because of like you know him not like owning up to his shit so then my dad goes over there and he's like yo like like what's up and my dad like gets ready because my dad's like okay well he just tried to fight Arson like I'm probably gonna have to fight this guy right now too so my dad's like what's good bro and he's like yo like how you been you remember me like from the park and then my dad's like yeah I remember you like your dog fucking and attacked my dad saw his like bump or what uh Sorry, get done when you ball ball, yeah. And he was like, oh, like, you know, I saw, I saw, uh, that one guy the other day, the guy that was trying to box mask, I saw him the other day. And well, your dad was like, yeah, I could tell, because <laughs> it was like. Yeah, yeah, my dad had said that, like, like, uh, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, bro, like, 
he beat the shit out of me. He's like, he beat the shit out of me and shit. Like, I wasn't even trying to do nothing. And my dad's like, what the fuck? Like, I know this story and I saw the surveillance video. Like, my dad's like, I could tell, bro. Like, all right, like, have a good one. Then, you guys, it got juicier. Then a couple, like, days had passed. And we were at the dog park in our apartment with Scar, remember? And we found out that that motherfucker lived in our apartment. Oh, yeah, that motherfucker, bro. Yeah, remember? Literally, right after ours beat his ass, like, I pulled out. I was leaving the gate, and I saw him. Yeah, with, and you had told he, me, he like, I his, think he lives here. Yeah, I think he was with his family, and, like, I saw his head. This is literally... <laughs> like, this a, couple is literally, days after. a couple days after ours told me. And then, like... I was literally about to get out of my car and rush him, hey, bro. His head was still swollen? Dude, yes. His head was purple and shit. Like, he was talking. He was with the lady and another lady. Like, he was probably with family. I was this close to getting out of my car and just rushing him again. But I'm like, yo, my brother already did this. And then, and like, like, we were he, walking. I don't know who those girls are. Those are probably his, like, I'm not about to go beat his ass again. That's the story. How Scarboy is a little, you know, he doesn't trust a bunch of people. You know, he got jumped by dogs. He's never going to yeah. trust. Ever, well, we put him in training. He's gotten better, but still. like Ever ever since uh, they attacked the back of his leg. Oh, yeah. Anybody he, that touches his leg, he, that, like, twitches out. Yeah, he'll, like, he bit Matt. Matt is our editor. So, he bit Matt because we were at the mall, and he was on the ground laying down, and Matt didn't say hi. Like, he just walked and went around. And he thought it was somebody random or something. So, shit. yeah, his back was turned, so he ran quick and bit him right here. He gave him a scar. I have a scar on my tattoo. In my lip, Arson's hand, without even biting Ars, just from yeah, beating the guy's ass. Scar's me. name is just Scar, like, <laughs> he's just giving everybody scars, but that's the story. Thank you guys for watching, that's the end of today's video, end of today's story time. Subscribe, hit the post notification, give this video a big thumbs up. I'm so happy to tell you guys the story now, so that way you guys get a little bit more of, like, Scar a clarification. Yeah, a clarification of why Scar is the way that oh, he yeah, is. Oh, boy. Um, Where are you? I want to say all disrespect to the people that were telling us to put our dog down um, because he bit Garik in the face. Yeah, come uh, on, All disrespect to you. So he's literally just a dog with Look a lot of trauma. Look at him. The sweetest Mr. Bobs. Big shout out to Ars. His Instagram is going to be down in the description and right here. Um, his, uh, his clothing brand is coming out very soon, you guys. Oh, yeah. So that will be down below in the description as well. Go follow that. And so right that way you guys can get it as soon as it comes out. Ghostly Wicks. It's going to be fire. So... Definitely gonna be fire guys. Be thankful for everything you have. I would say on, on the last note, you know, be grateful for life, you know, for everything you have and uh, God is great. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you guys want more story times and GMB and my brother out. Peace, Peace out guys. Love you so much. G Team all the way. It's 18.